Evelyn Aurora Merchant was born on 6th of December 1889 in Shorncliffe, Kent. She was the third child of four siblings and her family later moved to Sleaford in Lincolnshire. Before her admission to Lincoln Diogenes Training College in 1908, Evelyn was a pupil teacher in Boston. While studying, she was a popular student who enjoyed sport and extracurricular activities. During her second year of study at the college, Evelyn dressed as her namesake, the Aurora Borealis, for the Shrove Tuesday fancy dress dance. Evelyn's student record remarks that she was a bright, pleasant teacher who had shown considerable adaptability with her class and taught rightly and earnestly. Evelyn was a keen and gifted sportswoman. The October 1910 college student magazine noted her sports day achievements. Evelyn won a staggering seven prizes and scored 25 points and was rewarded with a well-deserved medal. Evelyn passed her examinations and finished at the college in 1910. After her training, she began teaching in Boston. However, at the outbreak of the First World War, Evelyn, like so many other women, felt she needed to help the war effort. In October 1914, she decided to help the overflowing Red Cross hospitals and joined the Voluntary Aid Detachment as a nurse. She began working at the weekends at Holden House Hospital in Boston and in March 1915, her Voluntary Aid Detachment unit was mobilised. Evelyn began working at Netley Military Hospital near Southampton. Writing to the college about her war work, she stated that she wanted to work entirely as a nurse, living at the hospital and devoting her whole energies to, in her words, doing my bit. Evelyn married Cecil Clayton Ibbotson in 1915 at Shorncliffe Camp in Kent, where Cecil was a lieutenant in the Duke of Cambridge's own Middlesex Regiment. Evelyn was determined to continue to nurse during the war and wished to go to France, but to her great disappointment, she was ineligible for foreign service because her husband was in the army. Evelyn returned to teaching, acting as a temporary head of her new husband's school and assisted the war effort by helping with farming when she wasn't teaching. After the war, Evelyn and her husband both continued to teach. Evelyn was an inspirational woman, committed to helping others and succeeding in all her endeavours.